I build wanna, bridges. Right? Build I, bridges. I want to make it a point. If something seriously ever fucked up happened on any in any part of the world or in any part of our country, look at the Dust Bowl, right? The Dust Bowl. When the people from the West wanted to come to the East, they were met with opposition. In our own country, okay? Our own people tried to come over here during the Dust Bowl and the East Coasters and all the other people said no. We said, you stay over there. So what if something ever really does happen and you need a place to go and you want a sense of community, but everyone's been so brainwashed to hate each other and be afraid of each other that no one will take you in. That's, that's where we're heading for. Love thy neighbor. Yo, how are you gonna make America great again when the only thing we got is freedom? Make America how great How are you gonna make America again? great again, again by trying to divide people into groups? When were we ever great in division? We were never. Look at our history. Look at any time in American history when we were divided. We were the weakest we ever were. So how are you gonna make America great again by taking away one of the few things that we truly can say that we own? Because, you know, we're, we're not that great in education anymore. We're not that great with technology anymore. We're not that healthy anymore. So you want to take away the one thing that makes us great is freedom. Think about it. It's a wrong answer, man. Think about it. Just for one second. Again, I grew up on the internet. Okay? Been on 4chan, been on all that shit since 2005, 2006. I got like 30,000, 40,000 hours on that keyboard, you guys. I got books in my backpack. Do you want me to show? Like if, if the whole thinks I'm some kind of social justice warrior, she'll, I'll, I'll pull up the protocols of the elders of Zion right now, of Zion right now. I'll take out the, into the buzzsaw right now. Okay, this, I'm not against anyone. This isn't, I'm not taking any sides. This is not social justice. This is not red hat. This is basic humanity, 101. Treat people with kindness and understanding. And that's all. And that's, I, I guarantee you, there are people all over the world that feel the way I feel. And they want to come down here and get that all out. I know they've been watching this camera for days on end. And there are so much things they want to say. But they can't. And then you have these people that live right down the road, and they're just spreading hate. Like, and it's not even ironic hate. This is hate that got people hurt. This is hate people died for to reverse. This is hate that is gonna really set a bad precedent for the future. Like, you, you can't just say those things and expect it to be all right. Like, Again, like if you're for white supremacy, I saw some brown guy stick up for white supremacy, and that's like, that's fine, that's whatever. He made the argument that white people are like dying out, like if there was ever like an event, they wouldn't be able to recover. And it's like, that's fine. He explained himself, and he explained his point of view. And now I'm sure if people understand it a little bit better, they don't look at that brown guy as some kind of self hater. His universe of white supremacy is deeper than what that normal person sees. Okay? You, if, if someone just punched him before he even got to explain himself, you would never understand where he's coming from. You'd think he's this self-hater. You would think he's this toxic individual. But he actually, he's, there's, there's a sense of compassion, you know? And I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not like defending Nazi or racism or anything. I'm defending point of views and understanding. That's all I'm trying to do. We can do so much. Local government. If, if you're upset with the way things are, do something about it. Like, again, you got social justice warriors acting like they're fucking possessed by the devil because things aren't going their way. And it's that's not right either. That's messed up. You got people lighting people's hair on fire? Like... Because they disagree with you? No. Sick. You're no better than a racist if you're doing that. You're no better than someone else. Just making yourself look like a hypocrite. We're all 
Because, see, that's the thing. We're all fighting for the same thing. We all just want freedom. Red hats, blue hats. I'm going to call them blue hats. I, I, know, I don't even think that's a term, but I'm going to call them blue hats. But it's like, we're all fighting for freedom. And at, the, you know, and at the end of the day, that's all we want. But what do you see throughout the day? People just dividing each other. When, when all we want is the same thing. Does anyone, does anyone understand that? You, you dip down to the core of people's souls, and you actually talk to them, and you speak to them, you find that we all want the same thing. We just want to belong. We just want freedom. But you can't get there if you're spouting hate. You'll never get there. That's, that's my two cents. And I can talk all day. I feel better because I don't want to subject you all to this. Thank you. Yo, you're like, you're one of the reasons, like, this guy is one of the reasons why I'm out here. We all sit there on Lulinks and we watch the stream and we see people like him on game just pouring. It's hard out there. Just, if, if, if it's saying a mantra, mantra, a mantra, whatever you want to say, if, if it's speaking your mind, if it, it's stand together with people like he's done it all and there's people paper boy you got paper boy and then you got jackie chan yo we fucking love jackie over there on our website okay we love you guys we love all of you guys that's the thing we look at the we look at the wiki and the, the narrative that you guys have created of season one two in the movie and we love every side of you guys you're all beautiful people 